it on i'm going to show you how to tie this gorgeous baby just of course i need to take care of that okay so as you can see i'm wearing mine with these Super simple suit pants. Check out the booty. <laughs> I'm wearing mine with these super simple suit pants. You can wear yours with a pair of jeans. You can wear it with leggings. Honestly, you can wear it with anything. Now, I love an accentuated waist. So, look at this. Honey. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. It feels so luxurious. It's perfect for the winter. The season is changing. I'm absolutely, absolutely loving this. You can wear it with leggings as well because obviously it is long enough to to cover this area and if your leggings are not sheer at the back it's absolutely fine on the back i would also wear this with a skirt honey i'd wear it with a pencil skirt i'd wear it with a flare skirt and just give that effect of it just like going in and coming and then being like this um shoes Today, guys, we are going to be, listen, I am stretching out my ear. For those of you that know me, you know that I used to have a stretcher and then I took it out and um, it closed. So now um, I'm back on that stretching game and yeah, I'm happy. Guys, I did my own braids. Wow. wow talk about being resourceful here i did my own braids i added in the beads i think it looks beautiful and super neat given the fact that i actually put it on top of my locks so yes i'm a star honey <laughs> i can do it all honey <laughs> okay let's chill out um today we're going to be talking about local brands i am so passionate about local south african brands and local african brands i love the continent i think we have so much exceptional talent and i really think that our price points also are so reasonable in comparison to um other brands that are from overseas or you know out of space okay just kidding <laughs> but also it's incredible because when you purchase local brands you are actually supporting and helping sustain the local industry for those of you that don't know majority of local brands produce in south africa so that means that when you purchase a product there is a seamstress that you are supporting that has helped that product come to fruition there is a pattern maker there is the person behind the counter that has helped you with your sale there is there's so much that goes into it let's not even let's not even start talking about like the actual store and the sustenance and maintenance of stores that sell local brands guys this is the time where we need to kind of like stand up band together and actually support local south african brands everybody knows about dolce and gabbana they know about gucci not just because it's an, an international brand but it's because it's a pride for their country um designers are really taken I, I don't i don't even want to say seriously because 
it almost uh, creates the impression that designers should not be taken seriously. But designers are really spoken about with pride. You know, people are proud of the brands that come from their country and they're so patriotic when it comes to, you know, arts and crafts and design and everything and like locally produced products. So obviously I'm representing, I'm wearing my guillotine top. Hey, 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 hey. Now I'm gonna post a picture right here so you can see what I look like in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous top. Guys, this is so luxe. It's beautifully made. The quality is incredible. The fabric is amazing. Obviously, my favorite thing about this top is that the fabric on the bodice is different to the fabric on the arms. It has ribbing on the on the arms and then the bodice is like nice and you can see how I keep touching myself because it's just it's so it just feels so luxurious on your skin. Um, Guillotine is an amazing brand. It's locally produced. Um, it has a team of women that are constantly pushing the brand, constantly working hard to make sure that they're not just producing clothing, but producing clothing that is good quality clothing that is loved and appreciated and clothing that has longevity. Ooh. So the brand is owned by Lisa Jaffe. She is Johannesburg based and production also happens in Johannesburg production, design, pattern making, everything. And she has a store at 44 Stanley. So if you ever pop into 44 Stanley, in fact, Come to 44 Stanley, okay? <laughs> Not if you ever pop into 44 Stanley. Come to 44 Stanley, go to Guillotine, have a look at the, the brand. Um, there's also other uh, brands that are in the store, namely Romaria, which is a knitwear brand. They do um, knitwear that's made out of cotton, absolutely luxe, beautiful, beautiful products. Um, there's Simon and Mary, which is these gorgeous little bucket hats. Um, there's patchouli. Guys, <laughs> if you do not own a patchouli item, I don't know what to tell you, but all I can say is you need to go there. You need to get yourself a pair of earrings or something like that because, I mean, patchouli is like one of the prides of South Africa. Like that brand is incredible. I love it. If you're a jewelry junkie, you'll definitely love Pachulek. Um, it's actually such an incredible space. It's very intimate. It's amazing, guys. Go and see it. I, I challenge you to, to go to the store and, and have a look and just enjoy the atmosphere of the store as well. Um, it's one of those spaces that you'll never forget about once you've gone to visit. Designers in South Africa need to be really appreciated and supported guys the talent in africa is exceptional trust me a lot of local brands are trying to build a heritage and trying to rebuild an industry that um, has basically been falling apart for a couple of years a lot of our cmts are no longer operational because most production, obviously, with, um, with bigger retailers, most production is happening in China. Um, so it's forced a lot of local CMTs. That's cut make trim. So it's people that um, basically do the pattern of the garment. They cut the garment, they make the garment, and they trim the garment. So a lot of those factories have closed down. We are trying to rebuild something that is not just for us but that is for the future generation. Um, you know, we would hate for talent to be, to, to start moving abroad or to, to leave because of a, a lack of employment. I just wanted to jump on and show you guys my gorgeous top. And yeah, love local, live local, baby.